99,000 people die every year in hospitals, but not because they came in sick. Hospital-acquired infections are too common. Ashley Zoka tells us about a worldwide campaign to get people to wash their hands. You usually go to the doctors because you're sick or injured. What's not on your mind is getting sicker once you enter the hospital. People need to know that when they go in the hospital, it's not fix me, fix me, I'm sick. Each year in the United States, more people die from bacterial infections they caught in a hospital than from AIDS, breast cancer, and car accidents combined. Armando Nahum knows all too well. Seven years ago, three of his family members were impacted by hospital-acquired infections. In three different hospitals in three different states in ten months' time. That was uh, culminated with the death of our son, Josh. He was 27 years old. After his son died, Armando gave up his job and started the Safe Care Organization. Since then, he's been sharing his story around the globe to hospitals like Unity. We took the decision of taking a tragedy and turn it into something more positive to help other people not go through what we went through. Doctors have a lot on their plate, and sometimes a simple reminder from a patient can go a long way. The first and most basic step remind doctors to wash their hands if they haven't done so. We work with these hospitals and they embrace our message because we don't come in by pointing fingers. So we, we say, look, we know you have a problem. You know you have a problem. What can we do to help you? We really brought Armando here today um, and we're very fortunate to have him here for the purpose of really emphasizing the importance of hand hygiene and to really help us to kick off our hand hygiene campaign. Although the Safe Care campaign won't bring back his son, Armando hopes his message can help remind doctors it's the little things that can save lives. Ashley Zelka, News 8.